Yeah. Good day, my lovely friends. My name is Young Programmer Orume Kene Rangsho. I'm here to tutor Group 5 on assignments I titled Analysis on Students. So remember, this video was being produced and prepared by two friends, Rangsho and Gandhi Bear. So let's get to the question. Um, definitely, in our question, we have been asked to display the information in a bar chart and calculate these things. Number one, the maximum number of undergraduates and graduate students. Number two, the minimum number of uh, undergraduate and graduate students. So let's see how we can solve this question with our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Thank you. Yeah, so to open up your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet um you go to your start menu click on it um click on all programs um over down to microsoft office click on it and choose microsoft office excel 2007 and click on it so def definitely is going to open up yeah so here i've already solved the the solution but i'm going to show you guys on how we are going to um, face this problem out so this is actually the bar chart and this is the data we're supposed to input so let's get started let me create a new sheet so here i'm going to bring in my data because of time yeah i've brought in my data so i have to arrange them so that every um input data have to be displayed so definitely you can highlight these things and choose left align or center align but I, 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 I prefer using a center align so for us to calculate um, let's go back to our, our question and see what we have been asked to do yeah so in our question back in our question we have the maximum number of undergraduates and graduates students we are asked to calculate the maximum number of undergraduates and graduates stu students yeah i've inputted my data as the maximum number and minimum number so these are under undergraduates and these are graduates so here to calculate for the maximum number you have to write this formula equal to mass you now put a bracket and put from b5 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 now enter b5 is to b what is going to be um 11 b 11 you now put b 11 and close the bracket and press enter and definitely is going to search through the data and give you the maximum number so here um for this let me show you a little bit um shortcut to do this user interface um to do this just highlight on, on this go to this uh some something and choose maximum number so here it will definitely search for the maximum number for you and for the minimum number this is the formula equal to mean you put a, a bracket and say um b5 is to b uh is to b11 now close the bra bra you close your bracket and press enter it will now search and bring out your minimum number and to do this you just highlight from here to here and choose minimum we will actually find out the minimum for you so rem remember that you have to click on the place that you want the answer to display before highlighting the place you want to search for the minimum number or for the maximum number so let's centralize this your um, go to the center al align here and make this thing happen so for us to specify that this is a maximum number let's give uh, a little color to show that it's a maximum number and also here a little color to differentiate them so here this is the maximum number and this is the minimum number now for us to use let's go back to our question and see what we have been asked to do again so back to our question we have been asked to display the information in bar chart using bar chart so let's um, input and um, compute 
this data into a bar chart form yeah so to compute the data into a bar chart you simply highlight from here to here and click insert choose bar chart here choose any of the one that you want click here and you definitely have something like this so this is our bar chart let's give it a, a chart title you go to your chart tools under layout and you choose chart title and choose above the chart and here let's um um edit it to um analysis on students so and this is it to put our to show that this thing is actually bar chart you go to the uh, as this title and choose title below the axis. and here we have to edit it and say uh this is actually a bar chart so highlight go to your home and choose a size 16 to make it a little bit bold bigger so here um yeah it's definitely our bar chart so but there is a little mistake that we have we didn't try to highlight both the departments and the undergraduates so here our series are not just showing um series two and series three for us to make that happen we simply have to um delete this and highlight from here to here and uh click insert and uh clip bar clip back and you now see that our legend here is, is going to be showing us graduates and undergraduate so red is simply means graduates and blue simply means undergraduates so because of line let me input the title yeah so here we have this as our analysis on students and bar charts so you can stress it up so red is doing uh red is showing the graduates and blue is going showing the undergraduates so to make this thing in a very beautiful way uh you can choose any color here like this and then for us to put a label in this place to show the, their numbers you like click on it and click on add data labels you will actually add a data labels but this is adding based on only on the graduates then for us to add for the undergraduates we simply click on undergraduates that is the blue like click and say add data labels it will definitely give 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 us the data labels now for you to choose the place you want the data labels to be showing up simply go to the lay, to the layout here and go to the data labels and say do you want it to be at the center it will be uh, at the center do you want it to be um at the inside base it will be at the inside base but i actually prefer outside end actually be at the outside end so anyone that you want it you click on the red one you choose a data label do you want it to be inside the end it will be inside the end do you want it to be at the center it be at the center do you want it to be at the outside base end we actually be at the outside ba base end so i prefer this and i think um, we are done with these charts you can see the in increments of the students analysis on undergraduates and graduates thank you i'm seeing your good friend orum ekene rancho remember this tutorial was being prepared by two friends rancho and gandhi berry thank you and god bless you everybody must pass all is well